Alors on est de retour sur Vekarm.net avec euh, Carrigan de FaZe. So hello Finn, how you doing after all this uh, elimination match against Malfoy? I'm doing good. Of course it's good to have playing a best one directly after you lose a match. So you get into, instead of going home and analyzing things, we get right into play. And we play another map and, and I'm grateful that we finally made it to at least best of three in the groups. Speaking about uh, the best of one, what do you think about elimination ma elimination match in best of one? Uh, it's it's hard to say. Of course, you want to have the best team uh, on all maps, best of three. But it's also kind of exciting that that all rounds count at, at one point. So in a best of one, if you are behind five, six, seven, zero, you are really in a tough position. So I kind of like the the pressure as well. Um, but I think elimination match is pretty hard to play a best of one uh, because everything is on the line. A tournament life, even a bad start can can make you god of tournament. Uh, so we're gonna go back on uh, the Krakow Major. So, <laughs> tough tournament. <laughs> and this tournament leads to two rest of changes. So Aru and Kiyoshima are left out. So, why, why this uh, changes happens? I think we, we had some issues in the team, even though we were winning tournaments, making finals, uh, stuff like this. And I really think uh, even at boot camp before Starletter, it, there was something off in the team. The chemistry wasn't there. Um, so when you win the chemistry, you can ignore that part. But when you, once you start losing the, the kind of blame and, and, and we want to st start changing things, even though the other didn't work and people not on the same page. So in any, at Krakow, we were not a team as a more. You have fly, five individual players playing kind of for himself, there wasn't this glue within the team and, and everybody was happy. So in the end, we, we just decided to make two roster changes to, to start a completely fresh uh, era of, of uh, face clan. And, and, and we got two big names. It's not like we replaced two players with, with worse players. So it's the specific those players we wanted uh, for, for the positions we had. Yeah, you talked about, it, about them. So how did you choose those players? It's always... It's obviously how to choose. We know Guardian was on the way out of Navi and, and there was a possibility to get him now. And I think that was the right choice to get one with experience. And, and the way he plays Cedar side is just amazing. He's everywhere and he's good at taking initiative and peaks. And, and, and you can build a game plan around him as TU. We know how he did in Navi when structures around him. And then we have more players who can play a, a little more loose style. So we are able to try to adapt both styles. So that's kind of the way I want a Guardian. And Olof was the only player that could replace Kirishima. Um, Kirishima's role was not kind of support player. It was more an all-around player. I needed to do different stuff in different periods of maps and, and, and positions. So often he came up with a, what you can call a, a supportive role. But on this level, you just need to be able to play all kind of uh, roles you get into your, to your hands. And I think Olof is, is maybe the best uh, all-around player in the world and can, can do everything... Uh, to a certain level, uh, only a cool zero maybe can do. Uh, how to deal with a superstar team? There's a, everyone is like mad fraggers. Maybe expected you, but no offense. <laughs> I, I don't think it's so hard as long as you have to respect from uh, your, your teammates, especially as in-game leader, when, when people stop doubting your call, I might get an, a problem um, if everybody doubts is it the right for the calling role. As far as it goes right now, everybody is on the same page. If I tell Olof to hold that position, he'll just do it. Uh, because everybody knows in the team that they don't need to be in the superstar role. Everybody can be the star of a, a round or of a map. Even though they have a bad position, they are able to carry the game and just... I mean, it's easier if you win, right? You, you don't really want to change stuff. But maybe in the future, if it's crashing out a lot of group states, I'm going to have problems since it is the super team. We have all kind of all... Uh, best players if you look at top 13 players uh, four at least of them i would say so uh, it's it's kind of hard if, if if you get to that point but right now i'm i'm dealing with it fine i i don't think it's it's even easier to deal with right now than the old team where we had some issues that were not fixable so yeah you speak about uh winning but is your goal winning is winning all tournaments i think everybody everybody wants to win all tournaments but to be realistic we the goal is to be a top four, stable top four team in the world. You cannot say you need to win six tournament in a row. Uh, it's only Fnatic who could do that, babe. Uh, no, there's too many good teams. I mean, you can never count as SK out. You can never count as Stratus out. Even Gambit winning a major and Immortals making a major final. So being saying you want to be the best team in the world, of course you want to be there, but we also need to have 
the goal of improving all the time and not just directly really go to be the best team in the world, but rather just slowly work up and, and build up that uh, confidence that, that you can always be a contender for the title and not crash out of group states, win next tournament, crash out of group states. So just make a, a stable top four team that always in the title race. Um, yeah, it's talking about stability, but for example, if you're a crash, if you're crashing in two tournaments in a row, what's gonna happen? Is there a change will happen like directly after a tournament? I, I think we have a lineup now that, that we want to build around. I mean, maybe the roles are not right now, right now, but I cannot see change happening. Uh, we just got Nico, and Rain is the only guy who has survived so long. So maybe I'm the next in the line, who knows? But I, I, I don't think so. I think we, we got many good players in the team who can play all roles. We just need to figure out, have the good chemistry, and look down the line in three, four months. That is where you want to be a top team. That's where you want to win titles. If you win right now, of course, you're going to be happy. But the main thing is to keep improving for a long time. That's what we did today. We talked about our mistakes on Nuke and talked we want to fix it for the next match. But we didn't want to play right now, so we fixed it for, for another day. We go back to the hotel room, look at our mistakes and, and talk about it. And that's something we didn't do with our old team. So I think everybody here on the team is on the same page when it comes to that. Okay. Good luck for the next uh, match in the tournaments. Thank you.